everybody welcome back to another vlog it is our anniversary weekend so we're gonna start off this vlog with a little anniversary trip to Laguna Beach which is one of my favorite places ever Drew and I have actually never stayed there together before I've always gone on like girls trips there and we've gone like for daytime or like beach at sunset whatever date nights etc but we've never actually stayed there so that's gonna be really fun I found the cutest cottages a couple years ago on Airbnb Fingers crossed they're good because they're really affordable for Laguna Beach. So I'm like, I don't know, we'll see. Yeah, they're very, very small. I think they were built in like the 30s or 40s. So that'll be really fun. We're gonna drive down there right now and see what else we get up to. We have some dinner reservations. We may do some rooftop bars beaches at sunset and we're celebrating seven years of dating which is crazy it's been like almost 15 years of friendship which is nuts to think about we were babies and now we're old so we're gonna go celebrate it so let's do it oh first i'll show you my outfit before i go if you watched the last vlog we packed together that bag is still sitting there waiting i kept it very very simple because the weather is kind of confusing it's like 60 something degrees but in the sun it's hot it's very hot so we're gonna rely on layers so i have this old navy tube top that has a built-in shelf bra already so it's just the best i have my good american good 90s jeans i think these are and they're so comfortable nice and like loose and i'll wear these again tomorrow and then just my converse i'm gonna wear them every single day that i'm gone because they're comfortable easy to walk in and i love them so that is the look i've already got all the blinds closed and everything because we're gonna be gone for a couple days and we're gonna hit the road so let's do it oh yeah i also forgot to mention that for the layering part i have a cardigan in my purse all right let's go All right, we made it to Laguna. We're He's deep in his lunch already. I got a chicken curry sandwich with a salad and this freaking Spanish granita latte blended is like literally just ice cream and it's amazing. Um, hello? Welcome to my crib? What the heck? Um, oh my God. This is like an actual fairy tale. <laughs> There's a wishing well. Oh my God. Good. I'm obsessed. So there's a green cottage, a blue cottage, a red cottage, and we're staying in the yellow cottage. And then I think there's maybe like a studio back there or something as well. And we're in, oh my God, and there's little string lights. I'm so excited. Welcome to my garden. Stop. Oh, yeah. Okay, let us get settled in and then we'll do a tour. This is so cute. Okay, we're inside. We've gotten ourselves settled. This place is literally, this is my dream home. If you know me, you know that this is the dream for me. Okay, so we're in the yellow cottage. When you first walk in, there's a sign that says Grand Canyon. So I feel like it's meant to be. Have we ever been there? No. Well, I was a baby when I went, but that's a thing for Arizonans. Anyway, it's like an, a nod to Arizona. We love that. Drew is making himself comfortable in his sitting chair. <laughs> so this is the living room. We have a fireplace with like a cute little mantle. We got some, what are those called? Starfish. Here is a window that outlooks the courtyard. So, so cute with all the other little cottages with all our neighbors. It's very quiet in here. You can't hear anything. Here is the couch. I think it's a pull out couch. I do think it pulls out to like a queen or something. And then you have, I, this is a lot bigger than I thought it was gonna be. You have a little walkway when you walk in. So you got a nice little behind the sofa table. What did my mom call that? There's a word for it, don't know. Got a little seating area to put on your shoes. Got a cute little, I don't know, corner shelf thingy storage a little dining table it's just like a little dining area with a window i feel like i'm in beauty and the beast like this is crazy mm -hmm. have a nice mirror here so cute then you go into the kitchen 
which this is a dream. Like, look how cute this kitchen is. We got a little kind of like bistro kitchen. Is that what you call it? Like it's a tiny, we have the crystal knob handles. We have a nice microwave, two burners. What more could you need? Got some cabinet space, a toaster oven. Cute. This is so perfect. I'm obsessed with this tile. This was the only, we booked this yesterday morning and this was the only cottage left of the four to rent and it was meant to be, like this had to be ours. Got a little coffee station over here and then you go into the bedroom. So here is the bedroom. It has a king size bed. Look at how cute it is in here. Oh my god, I love the hardwood floors. I wonder if these are original. Either way, they're real. Look at this back patio. I think that's a laundry room. You have access to laundry when you're here as well. So if you stay for like a longer period of time, it also feels really secure. This is like, we're basically in like a giant backyard and then there's the gate up there. I think there's another gate code for there as well, but like, oh my God, I want to open this so bad. <gasps> oh my God, this opens all the way. Okay, and then you walk into the bathroom. Bathroom is tiny, but it's so cute. So we have some nice like vintage tile. We got a shower in here, a nice little mirror, and then a toilet. What more could you need? Some little toiletries here. Cute. Absolutely love the tile in this house, like all of it, so good. And it looks like another cute little window. Oh my God, it feels like we're back in England or something. <laughs> I am so happy. I love this place so much. Uh, I'm never leaving actually. And now I am tempted to like looking into booking this place for like a more extended period of time at some point. Like if you were like a writer or something and you came in here and you could just like sit out in the backyard and be inspired and write. Oh, what a dream. I love California. Look at that courtyard. Shut up. Shut up. Oh. Just kidding. All right, we're gonna relax for a little bit. We have like a couple hours until our first reservation of the evening. We're going to the rooftop lounge. I think I mentioned it in the last fall. We're gonna get a little sunset drink and then go to dinner afterwards. It's gonna be great. All right, it's a little while later. Got ourselves ready for dinner. Here is my dinner OOTD. I decided to wear the same cardigan that I had on earlier because number one, it's warmer, and number two, it just looks better with this skirt. Um, I liked the white, but it was a little more daytime. So we've got the cute little flowy skirt, the Converse to keep it casual. I probably should have cleaned them before I came, but that's okay. Just touched up, added some eyeliner, and we're good to go. So let's go to dinner. Go by the pool. Go on a little date. Cool. What did I say? By the pool? Oh, I'm at the beach. Oh. <laughs> I don't know what I'm talking about. Let's go. If you know, you know. everything that's good seems a bit dark then you walk into 
probably dining, I'm not sure. Living room with a fireplace. Looks like maybe gas. Or electric, possibly. Cute little patio, is this open? There's someone else's patio right there. Oh, and you're overlooking a pavilions. And other apartments. There's a pool and trash. And we have like an office bedroom. The closet, that's a decent sized guest closet. But yeah, you're overlooking like water heaters. Nice pool. Double doors. What is that? To a bathroom? Oh. Got a bathroom. There's a shower. Hey. Oh. With a shower. Plenty of storage. Nice. Got a hall closet. Oh. Jack and Jill closet or something like that. This goes into the same bedroom. Storage. Yeah, this is the main bedroom. This actually is really big. So here's the bedroom. Get a view of the pool, but that could get really loud. And a view of someone else's parking lot. So it's pretty though. There's definitely pretty parts, but it's like grocery store, pool, water heaters, or whatever that's called. Water, water meters. meters, yes. Parking lot and trash. And there's still people above. We have double closets. So we have big old closet on this side. Nice. And then this is the Jack and Jill closet, I think. Yeah, this thing is, oh, wow. I mean, that's pretty big. That would definitely fit all my clothes. <laughs> and we have another bathroom. This one has a bathtub. Thank God. Nice. Too expensive though. <laughs> we were in the neighborhood, so we thought, why not? Hop on by. Too blue apartment. There was also a guy in here when we walked in and I said, hi, are you? Like the person that I was chatting with um, in text. And he was like, no, I live upstairs. I'm just nosy. <laughs> I wanted to look. I was like, amen. Everybody. It is now Monday morning and we have had such an amazing time here in Laguna It is our final moments in this cottage and I'm seriously not ready to leave. I love it so much Look how beautiful it is. The fact that that is just right outside the front door I just can't get over it. But the last little leg of our anniversary adventure or anniversary weekend, our actual anniversary, I will not be vlogging, obviously. And we have the day off tomorrow, so that'll be really nice. But um, today, we're gonna head to Disneyland. We haven't been together in like a few weeks, so we're gonna probably just do like a half day at Disneyland and then head home. So I've got my cute little sweater that I packed. This is from Hollister. I have my vintage Mickey tee underneath. I got my ears and my purse. We got liquid IV. We got medicine just in case. We got our water bottles. I think we're ready to go. You ready, Donald? Yeah. <laughs> so cute. Let's do it. Goodbye to this beautiful bedroom. 
This cute little kitchen. Adorable living room. Most of all, Adorable this, <laughs> this freaking view out the front door and the yellow door. I'm gonna miss it so much. Fun fact, this place is also right next to Laguna Beach High School, which is the high school from the show on MTV. If you know, you know. See, there she is. That's where all the legends went from the show. Started a fire, got you in my lungs now. I learned to speak your native tongue. Her California sunrise, it feels like I've been living inside a dream. Thank you. First stop, the pin boy has to get his pins. This boy is addicted to mystery pins. <gasps> I like Boba. There's one thing Drew is gonna do, it's collect. Oh my God, they have a Marie one. <gasps> Me and Alexa should get matching. So here are all the new ones. I love these Boba ones. They're so cute. We have Dumbo, Pooh, and Marie. I like the Tweedledee and Tweedledum with Alice. Like a little matching moment. I love the doorknob. Super cute. Got a balloon. Got a Mickey heart. Millennials, we will forever do hearts like this. Okay, first step. We're cutting through Frontierland to go to Star Wars land because we're going to Oga's, okay? Yeah, it's 11 in the morning. Getting breakfast. And we're here to get a breakfast drink. Sue me. Star Wars, Rise of the Resistance. It's the best. absolutely iconic the girls that were sitting next to us I was like Drew because I could tell they had never been on the ride before and I was like should I warn them that there's like a little drop at the end and Drew was like no and so when we did the little drop at the end the girl next to me grabbed my leg like <laughs> and she was like oh my god I'm so sorry I'm so sorry. next up is Pirates of the Caribbean every dad's favorite ride and also one of ours every day yeah every both of our dad's favorite rides this is um the old Splash Mountain that's gonna be the new Princess and the Frog ride. I think it's gonna be called like Tiana's something. I can't remember. And here's the progress. It's been closed since I think May or June. I cannot wait. This ride is gonna slap so hard and I can't wait. I'm not afraid to 
child is on the loose in Monstropolis. A human child. You home. <laughs> Oh my god, out of nowhere, the clouds appeared, it's fully raining, and there's so much thunder, you can't hear over the music, but it's so magical, I love it! It is quite literally pouring rain. Can you see it? I am so happy! I think I might be the only person here that's happy for this. This is the best day ever. Oh, there's water in my lens, gotta go. Literally pouring rain right now. I love it. I'm going to be soaked. It's splashing in my wine. Oh my god, goodbye. Oh my god, can you even see how hard it's raining right now? Look at my hair. I'm literally standing in the shower outside. This was, look at how much water is going in there. It's half water at this point. Probably shouldn't drink it, but. Yeah, wherever you want me. Hold in the front. We're in front. Here for 12 hours. And Pixar pals it's time to go. Oh,